Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate the leaf senescence experiment. There are two parts to this experiment, the one that uses the bean plants, as you can see here, and the one that uses the wheat seedlings. I'm going to start with the bean plant. For leaf senescence, you're going to need the Munsell color chart, you'll need the paintbrush, and your BA solution, and you will need the razor blades. I have here my control plant. The control plant is not the mature plant with the flowers and fruit. The control plant should be one of the younger plants that you planted just a couple of weeks ago, and it should not have any flowers or fruit on it yet. It should be in its vegetative state. And for the control plant, I've already labeled it here. This is plant number one, and plant number two is over here. And we're not going to do anything to the control plant, except we are going to record the color of the primary leaves. So the two primary leaves, you want to match up the color to one of the color chips on the Munsell color chart. And as you can see here, each color chip has an identifying code for it. So once you've picked the color chip that closest matches your primary leaves, you want to note down the identifying code in your chart. These measurements should be done every other day or three times a week for a period of two weeks. And that's it for the control plant. For treatment B, I have my plants here. Again, they're already labeled. I have plant number one and plant number two over here. For treatment B, we're going to be painting the primary leaves. So just the four bottom leaves here on each plant or the two plants, two leaves on each plant, so four leaves. These four primary leaves will be painted or coated with the BA solution. But before you do that, make sure you do your color check with your Munsell color chart and note down which chip is closest uh, in color to your primary leaves. Once you've noted down the color in your chart, you can open your BA solution, take your paintbrush, and start painting. So you just wanna paint it onto your leaf. It may take a while because it does tend to wanna to roll off, but just be gentle and be careful with it. So just make sure you're gentle and you don't damage your leaves. You can let it dry, move on to the next one. And make sure you cover the entire surface as well as you can. You can see that the BA solution is tending to beat up a little bit, but just coat it as best as you can and let it dry. Okay, and that's all there is to this one. And when you are done with your paintbrush, you can just rinse it off with some water and then just let it air dry and return it with the kit. For treatment C, I've already labeled my plants here. So you've got plant one, plant two. So for treatment C, we are going to leave the primary leaves down here intact, but we are going to remove all the branches with the leaves for the rest of the plant. But before you start, again, you gotta make sure you do your Munsell color chart, match up your leaf color to one of the chips and record the color. So I'm gonna start with plant number one and just take your razor blade, and again, be careful with the razor blades because they are sharp and you just want to Remove the leaves and the stems with the leaves, including this tiny little guy up here. And then we'll 
do the same for this plant. Oops. So. So that's treatment C. Make sure you do your color measurements every two days or three times a week for a period of two weeks. And you should be removing any little branchlets that grow after this with leaves. So this little guy here, you can see there's this little bud here that's starting up. Um, I would be removing him as well. So all these little branchlets that will be starting, remove them as they show up. Okay, here we have treatment D. Treatment D is the mature plant that you planted back in, oh, I think January. So I've got here, again, my pot labels, plant number one and then plant number two. So for treatment D, it's the mature plant. You're just going to observe it. You're not going to do anything to it, except like the others, you're going to use your Munsell color chart and match it up to the colors of your primary leaves and pick the color chip that closest matches it. As you can see here, I've also got one leaf that's kind of gone a little bit yellow and it's dried up a little bit on one side. I'm not sure what's happening here exactly, but it's okay if your plant looks like this. You can still use it just as long as you record the colors and take pictures. And as with the other treatments, you want to do your recordings every two days or every other day or three times a week for a period of two weeks. This is the wheat part of the leaf senescence experiment. For this, you will need your pot of one week old wheat seedlings. You will need your Munsell color chart. You should have four vials labeled for water and four vials labeled for kinetin. You'll need your water solution, well, your water bottle and your kinetin solution and the two syringes from your kit. So you can start by filling these vials with the solution. So use your five mil syringe and you want to put five milliliters in every vial. So just put your syringe in the solution, pull it up so that the fluid is level with the five milliliter mark, and then just put it into your vial. So do this for your kinetin solution and for your water vials. So now I have my vials with five mils of kinetin and five mils of water in each vial as labeled. Once you're done with the syringes, you can just pull them apart like that, rinse them under tap water, let them dry, and then return them with the kit. So now we're going to take some wheat seedling cuttings and put it into our solutions. So again, you wanna take your razor blade and the lab outline says to take a five centimeter cutting, but I think five centimeters will be a bit short because you want to have a little bit sticking out of the vial just so you can color match it with your Munsell color chart. So I'm going to say somewhere in the neighborhood of seven to eight centimeters would be good. So you can just maybe eyeball it. That's fine too. So take your razor blade and take a, you know, a nice looking piece of wheat seedling and just give it a nice sharp cut. So here we've got one. Make sure you put the cut end in the liquid and it will tend to float just a bit, but as long as the cut end is below the surface of the water or solution, that's fine. So you wanna do this for all eight of your, your vials. And it's also important that you cut and put it into the solution as soon as possible, just to avoid any possibility of air bubbles um, blocking the cut end. So just cut and drop. And cut and drop. Cut and drop it in. Uh, 
Sunday. So now once you've got all your cuttings in the liquid, just check and make sure that they actually are sitting in the liquid. So check each one. Okay, so next step, take your Munsell color chart and just as you did with the bean plants, you wanna take it and match it to one of the color chips, each one, and make sure you record um, the color every two days uh, for a period of two days, or sorry, for a period of two weeks. Once you've recorded your color, the first, your first um, set of colors from the Munsell color chart, you wanna take your vials and the container it's in and put it in something dark. So like a cabinet, if you have somewhere dark or in a closet, so you wanna keep it away from light and you wanna keep it there, just take it out, do your measurements or your color checks and then put it back into the cabinet uh, or you can cover it with a box. Just make sure that it has air and it's not airtight so that it doesn't, um, it does need, the plants do need oxygen. And that's it. One last thing I forgot to mention. If you find when you go to measure your color, match your color of your wheat seedlings with your chart, if you find that the liquid in the vials is dropping significantly, you want to top it up. So there is a little bit of extra solution in each of the bottles. So there's extra water and there's extra kinetin solution. You can use your syringes and just top them up a bit. Um, they should be fine for two weeks. I did it in my house and it was, I still had liquid at the end of two weeks. But if you find that it's drier in your home, you might need to top it up.